Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as the United States, Democratic United States, and our Hearts of Iron 4, Avidya. Alright, so right now you're looking at me, looking at all of our imports. We finally have enough supplies that we don't have to import anything, even though we will probably need to import stuff soon again. Oh my gosh, we lost four total destroyers, including a Japanese destroyer, in exchange for nine German ships. Well then, let's see, is everyone set to, yeah, everyone's set to, uh, split-offs if they need it. Oh, you guys didn't get hit that bad. Ah, oh, nice, suck two more German destroyers. The United States looks very good. We, with the Japanese, are invading Australia very nicely. Very, very nicely. Let's raise the speed just by a little bit. And can we ever upgrade ships that we're currently making? I wish that as you were making a ship, I wish you could tell you like what it's currently producing or working on. For example, for this super heavy battleship, I wish you could, it would tell you whether it's working on the hull, whether it's working on the radar, on one of the naval guns, the batteries, instead of like, oh, we have this radar in queue in production, within our production, well, we can just swap out those schematics for these new schematics we just researched. Now, that would be definitely something very cool that the game could potentially add in. Now, I don't know if they'll ever do that. I doubt they will, but I think it would be a very, very cool suggestion. Wow, I've got a lot of factories. Um, let's see, we probably will eventually need more chromium, so let's get some a Montana chromium deposits. Let's see, we are finishing up the Nazis here in Alaska. That's weird to say, Nazis in Alaska. But regardless, we have Spain, and we do have Canada. And the House Committee supports our presidential policy. Right, very good. And Quebec, you are finally done! Good, 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 we're done. The tanks are done, they did a great job. Now, where do I send my tanks? I don't really want to send them to Asia, but I've got nowhere else really to send them. For the love of God, please do not get sunk over here. Well, if I, as long as I have, like, at least eight tank divisions still here kicking ass, I think we should be okay. But, of course, we will see what happens. Uh, I'm not really probably going to invade here. Maybe, oh, wait, this is Chilean, right? Oh, this is owned by Chile now, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, Marines, you have orders to move in, and you're doing great. Very nice, and actually, nice, nice job, guys. With that mind, since we have six units here, we can probably expand one more, and then maybe we'll expand to the Labrador Sea. Is Denmark the? Oh, it's not Denmark. It's a North Sea Empire. We might be able to use our Marines and actually invade Greenland. I'm about to sneeze. I hope I don't. And from there, we could maybe, uh. Attack Iceland? Yeah. We're at war with them, so that would be okay. Get over there, and get over there. Island hop maybe to the U former UK, perhaps? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see what happens. Nice. Suck an Australian convoy. I'm not sure why those people were there. Can you guys finish up? Australia. That would be delightful. Jap Japan. The Japanese, or Japan. Wow, we lost quite a few ships. Planes, I mean. Has... Taking over the East Indies. They really wanted those East Indies. And you know what? I might just give them the East Indies once they're done with this war. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them once this war is over. Let's see. Uh... Advancing here? Are we advancing? No, not really. Oh, you're under Douglas MacArthur. Uh... I mean, our lines are pr spread out pretty thinly. Does anyone need infrastructure? Oh, yeah, you do, but you can't really do anything until you have their capital province in here. The Germans are attacking. They didn't really win. We are kind of waiting. Oh, good. Australia has fallen. Very nice. We're waiting for Sib this part of Siberia to be finished off first, though. Dwight D. Eisenhower, you are not that high level, honestly, compared to where you should be at this point. Go ahead and take this... Excuse me. Go ahead and take this guy out. Ooh, five subs. Very nice. And another submarine from Australia, because they just capitulated. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Nice. This looks very, very not bad. Very not bad. Yes, that's what I just said. It looks very not bad. Go ahead and take them out. Go ahead when you can. 
You two, kill this guys. Kill these guys, I mean. Kill those guys. Uh, all y'all. Go here. Uh, actually, we'll send this one over here. Um, and we'll get that patch up, patched up as well. That would be great if you guys could do that. And we got a couple five divisions here in the States, just kind of hanging out. So be it. Alright. Australia already taken care of. Asia is one giant freaking mess. That's all I can say about it. Do we need radar? We can't build radar, that's right. India isn't looking too bad for us, honestly. We could use a few more divisions here, but... Ooh, we need more... So, it's under Maurice Rose, who is currently injured, wounded, I mean, and you are over here. So, with that in mind, we will give him, hopefully, a... One, two, three, four. Sounds pretty good to me. Maurice Rose. Hope you like your new planes. And we'll add in maybe some tactical bombers if we have any. Oh my gosh, I've got to get rid of so many planes. Yeah, we could really use more tactical bombers. Help them out. Alright, that's not too bad. Let's see what happens. Maybe they'll be slightly more powerful. Slightly better. Very nice, guys. Good job to all y'all. Nice, another German subs. Just so many German subs sinking. I would hate to be a German U-boat U -boat commander. Or even a regular sailor under the seas for Germany. Because my guys, we've been blowing up so many, so many uh, submarines. It's not even funny. Repair the Suez Canal. Well, we haven't blown it up. War plan gray, black, nation building, demand, American. What happens if I click this? Oh, well. They refuse, whatever. Uh, I was looking around for something. I can't remember what exactly what I'm looking for right now. Uh, what was it? I don't know any more divisions over here. Army group number two is trying to make it over here. I can't remember. I was thinking about saying something, doing something. Oh, I remember now. Oh, the fun part. Yes, the very, very fun part. Ooh, nice. Convoy sunk. I know the convoy sunk. And then all sorts of convoys, whatever. At this point, we're not really losing that many ships. It's just sinking a lot of enemies' convoys, a lot of enemy subs, and we lost a convoy there, but whatever. You didn't see that. What we need to do is really fix up this extra stockpile of um, goodies, we'll call them. CV naval bombers, yeah, whatever. Oh, whoops, I should not have gotten rid of that one. Whatever. Not like we really use them that much. Uh, chain lightnings. Well, we can get rid of those. Just because it does add up all these extra small amount of planes. There's so many small amount of planes that it really kind of hurts when you see them all. Like, when you try to organize new plane wings, it's, it's kind of stupid. Whatever. That's fine. We get rid of all those. We got enough carrier planes. Fighters. I'm going to leave 292 just because we do have a few wings that still use regular fighters. Uh, you, you guys know motorized infantry equipment. This is almost pointless to even do. Uh, let's see. We need more anti-tank, of course. We need... Well, we actually have quite a bit of anti-air. Amtraks, whatever. Awesome. Let me guess. Oh, two French... Uh, convoys. A couple of French... Uh, Spanish ships. Two subs. A submarine and two more destroyers. Very cool. Uh, actually, we still have a couple subs down here. 36. I want to get up to 50. 50 subs in that one task force. That's what I want to see. Nice. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, looks like some of the guys have reorganized themselves over here. And they're just going to be quashed. Squash them, my boys. Japanese are... I've almost taken all of this area. Wow, there's a lot of divisions there. How are we not capitalizing on this right now? This is quite a... Heavy fighters, very good. And then get some naval bombers. Some naval action in there. Oh yeah, just go ahead and bomb the living hell out of them. I'll probably keep those planes there for the rest of the time. At least until this campaign ends. Nice, we've taken this. We've kind of split up our own soldiers though. But, if with enough air power, we can strike at any sort of naval resources they may end up getting. Let's see. Chain Lightning. I love that name. Chain Lightning. Heavy Fighters. Oh, we already have a couple of heavy... Tactical bombers just for Burma itself. Awesome. 
which I'll probably send with whatever army group is down here for themselves to help out the infantry divisions. I think that's all infantry. Let's see. Oh, wait. I way skip naval bombers. I think when we get to Berlin, or at least close to homeland Germany, we will nuke what we call the living hell out of them. I mean, we've got, you know, 23 nukes, with more being made every single day with 10 total nuclear reactors. That's, I think, pretty good. Not gonna lie, I think that's pretty good. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's a pretty nice number of nukes you have there. And since, technically, we are not the only nuclear superpower. Now, if you didn't know, I uh, looked around, and I might have seen that the Germans, ooh, look at this, were working on, oh, they were working on some sort of nuclear technology as well, so. It'll, it'll be good if we can take them out of the war as fast as possible. So we currently have Battleship Armor 2. Well, Battleship Armor Level 3. This is why it's good always to look at stuff before you actually say, okay. Oh, wait. Heavy Battery 2. Heavy Battery 3, which slows us down a little bit, but gives us more piercing. Heavy Battery 4 for a little more damage for just quite a bit less speed. Well, you're already slow enough anyways. We might as well add it on there. Heavy Bad. Oh man, this could really make us extremely slow. But I don't mind being very slow as long as that means. I mean, our range is staying the same. But this would give us enough heavy piercing if we had to pierce our own ships. Now, I don't think that'll ever happen. And these ships are extremely slow, so I really need the next engine module. But. Yeah, it's probably this is honestly probably too much, too little speed for these ships. Been killing all sorts of ships here. Absolutely insane. That's all right. That's the state of Japan. Got the convoys trying to get back home. Yeah, well, Australia, you're not going back home. Tibet has joined the Republic of China in the war against. Wait, why'd you join China? Wait, Tibet. Tibet? Uh, why? Why'd you join? Should you just be a part of China? Oh. Eh, regardless. Uh, let's see. We could probably push down against these guys eventually. Don't want to try too hard. I don't want too many losses. I mean, we've suffered over 3 million casualties. Almost 4 million casualties already. Uh, are we still mobilizing or not? Oh, we are still mobilizing. That's kind of nice. I'm taking out quite a few uh, nations. The new Mo Mughal Empire will fall eventually. Iceland we were at war with. The Germans have lost a little less than 5 million Sodaten. Ooh, field hospitals. Cool. I'm not even using those, but sure, keep researching. Ooh, convoy. Very nice. And then another destroyer. How many ships do you have, Germany? Or does our intelligence report on? Resistance suppression. Well, less than 200, so that's pretty good, but they still have quite a few ships around here. Destroyers. What country is that? Is that Croatia? I think that might be Croatian. Alright, how is Siberia looking? At this point... Just go ham. Go nuts. Yeah, we're going to lose quite a few guys, but... There will be generations of your stories told, my men. Generations will look upon you as the greatest generation. Very good. Just don't let up. Anything else? This hemisphere is looking very good. Africa is so terrifying. We are slowly pushing in. Here, which is good. Uh, you're under him. Give yourself a little bit more gas to go. Uh, da -da -da. Actually, a little bit of lag to save the game. Isn't that great? You guys come here, and you just finish off this little line here so we can take that little airport they have. Yeah, very good. Nice. Slowly move in, guys. Slowly move in. Oh, there's quite a few divisions over here. Quite a few Italian divisions. If anything. Yeah, you guys already are have been told to go. Better signal companies that I don't even use. Edward Brooks wounded. Well, sorry about that, but you know, you had, you signed up for it. Whether you were signed up at gunpoint or not, you still signed up for it. Alright. Ooh, convoy. Four more. Awesome. Uh, since you're over here, just take these guys out. Y'all are doing great. Let's try to speed it up. It's still 1947. It's almost 1948. Which is 
looked really good. Actually, how many extra ships have we created? Oh, we actually have another carrier. Two carriers. Two carriers from 1936 in this little... Pacific. Four. But the Atlantic one we have been making, this fleet, has three. So that's not bad. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's make a new task force. So we'll have one carrier. Antietam. Two, three, and then... That's more than enough screens for what we need here. You will be added over here. Uh, sign all task forces. Uh, no, um... Oh, yeah, 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 go ahead, that's fine. You will be doing some patrols, so with three light cruisers and six destroyers, you and a carrier, of course, you should easily be able to find any sort of enemy ships and sink them. Even though it is 1936 carriers. I mean, I was saying before, there's really no point in getting upgraded carriers unless you're having a very, very long endgame. I mean, this is this is past the endgame. Uh, this is not quite the final endgame, though. I mean, at this point, unless you're fighting the UK in the endgame or the Japanese, you really don't need to upgrade your carriers, i found. It's just, they're pretty good as long as you have other capital ships and good enough screens. Let's see. So, that's pretty good. Oh, I mean, technically we do have that other carrier we could add into the carrier fleet itself, but that will give us a penalty. Uh, six? Yeah, that's a few too many light cruisers for a single task force, in my opinion. You really want a few, not not a bunch, because they're, they're pretty good. They're better than destroyers, generally, but that's six in one group is just too much. I need more destroyers in that group. Uh, let's see. You all, y'all come here. Y'all come here. Yeah, whatever. That, that'll happen, whatever. Y'all try to get break them down, and y'all do that. Alright, nice. Another sub lost. Three more subs lost. I remember reading about some of these dev diaries, and they were looking at the statistics for what countries and how... on what difficulty people play on. And it was, I remember reading that it was kind of surprising to see that a lot of people play on easy or very easy. I, th I think it was like, what? 30 maybe 40 percent i can't exactly remember but a lot of people actually play on easy which is you know no shame or anything like that i mean if you like playing on easy I like playing on easy for example i like playing my fallout games as an overpowered you know warmonger but you know, how you play is how you play which is very interesting to find out that a lot of people play on easy i usually just play on normal i don't like playing anything more difficult on than normal it's just a little difficult you know playing anything higher than normal i mean it's not impossible people have done it i haven't done it Interesting. Let's see. Oh, acoustic mine. Na mine naval damage. Torpedo tube mine deployment. Uh, let's see. If you can hear... Well, uh, I doubt you can hear it right now, but apparently my cat wants to come into my room. I don't know if he would really want to be in here. But then again, you never know. Bank. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Well, let's take a look. Let's see what happens down here. What if... I don't want to tell you guys to go ham. But, you guys are doing alright. You guys are moving around. You guys cut these guys off. Hold on. Nope. Alright, so. My. He's gonna be left out. Uh, let's see. Everyone but you. I mean, it's over a river. We shouldn't be attacking like that, but that's okay. Alright, let's see. Alright. Alright. My apologies once again, my cat was tearing up my carpet. Oh, nice! We lost two destroyers, though, but we sunk ten enemy screens. Very cool. Very, very cool. Let's see. Another sub. Very awesome. And maybe we'll win here? Maybe, probably not. We've, you know, forced one division to retreat. We are slowly entering India. Oh! Uh, it looks like someone's invading... In Greenland. Oh, the Chileans. I mean, I'm telling you guys. Happy 1948, by the way. But the Chileans, I mean, they're just doing a great job. I mean, back in the day, a couple years ago, they took out Iwo Jima without our help. And that was great. They had convoy raiding subs all along the coast of Japan 
before we actually took out Japan. I mean, the Chileans are just beasts in this campaign, for me at least. I don't know about you. And this is honestly the first time I've ever seen the Chileans go so hard at it. Unless it was like Kaiserreich or something, but still. Absolutely insane. Insane Chileans. Ah. Oh, look, Chile. Oh, but, uh, they, ah, oh, god dang it, they actually have that province. That means I can't build upon it. It'd be better if the, the Japanese or the Republic of China actually did that instead, just because I could actually build in those areas. Not right. Well, how is this going? Leonard Garo injured, wounded, whatever. Um, you know, let's be a little crazy here. Let's put a little more effort in this. A little bit more effort. Uh, let's see, how's this looking? Could use a couple more divisions over here. Uh, where are these guys? Who are you? Tanks! 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 Yes! Oh, we got 11 tanks! They all made it! Go figure! Uh, actually, we could put you in India here. This would probably kill off our supply situation, but that's okay, right? Patton, do you have anything anything interesting? No? Alright then. Peshwar, you will probably need an upgrade as well as Punjab. Actually, Punjab's pretty good with 7 infrastructure. Oh, and I guess I'm building up China as well. Okay. Sure, whatever. Oh my gosh, we are pushing hard, or something. This is a little crazy. Oh yeah, we definitely need more infrastructure over here. Uh, everywhere else can kind of wait. Philippine Division, thank you very much for joining. The North Sea... Uh, what? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. They took Greenland. Uh, okay then. So I guess the Germans took over... Denmark earlier on and then liberated them just into over here. Oh, Canada still is over here. Oh. Huh. Oh, have we finished off Alaska? No, we haven't yet. Um, let's see. Marines. Give them a little bit more. Push. We're probably going to need some air support up here. Uh, let's see. Oh, definitely some better infrastructure. Better air base. There were some radar. And you know what? We'll give them. A uh, real naval base up here. To the list. There you go. Oh, wait. Can we lower the autonomy of a subject? Oh, um... Sure. Pu China, yeah. Become an integrated puppet. Because why not? Alright, so this is not working out as well. Go ahead and do that. Uh... Yeah. Ah, someone else got injured. Alexander Vandegrift. He's, he's doing alright. He's not doing great, but he's doing alright. Oh, right. Very good. Very, very good. Half tracks. Uh, sure, Mountaineers. Sure, why not? Because screw it. Factories. Factories. Uh. Oh, we need more dockyards. Ooh, heavy ship hulls. Hmm. Oh, jet tactical bombers. Now, what's the difference between the jet tactical bomber and a regular tactical bomber? So they got... Let's see, 24 air defense, 18 air attack, 57 agility, compared to tactical bomber 3s, which have 18, 54, and 33. So they're definitely more agile. What is the difference in their, I guess, naval targeting for this is 9. Uh, let's see, naval targeting is 9. What, what else is there? Air defense, air attack, 9. And then you guys, oh, that's jet fighters. Jet tactical bombers has naval attack of 15, ground attack of 15, and then tactical bombers ground attack is 15. So it's the same, these are just a little bit faster, let's do that. We'll make these for the lols, even though we can't really make any right now, whatever. Lockheed P-80 shooting star, well, those both got done. Uh, we got some more stuff we gotta do over here. Yeah, let's do that, that'd be fine, good and dandy. Let's see, blow Panama Canal, eh, screw it, we'll add one more, uh, a couple more dockyards here, because we could use them. Very nice, very nice, oh, we have made an encirclement of a tank division. A oh, Mr. List. For supplies. Well, but you are surrounded, encircled. And, as we slowly watch this tank division wither away, we shall celebrate. Very good. You help them out. Oh, look how small this group is getting. 
Love it. Senator from North Carolina offers support. Uh, if we do this, um, what do we have to do? Sits on several important committees and is quite famous for being able to cut deals, making his vote worth several more in both houses. Invest in the economy of North Carolina. Um, I love North Carolina. I was actually born there. Let's see. Oh, uh, New York, Tennessee. Is there something here? Indiana, uh, Montana, Idaho. Um, I don't see it. I think it was munitions, though. I don't mind making a factory in North Carolina if that means it. Just one, though. We might need that space for later. They still have a ton of German subs. Holy crap. So many subs. Subs, daddy. Oh, 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 do we actually help the... Nice. Do we help the Japanese push these guys out yet? Not yet. There's still 19 Italian divisions over here. That's going to be kind of a problem. What happens if we attack this way and do that? 69. We, one of our divisions can pierce the enemy. Very good. Have our tanks made it down here? Yes, they have, and they're causing a couple infrastructural problems. Sounds good. All oh, right, 1940s carrier. Uh, 1944's carrier. Patton, I hope you're gonna learn how to become a mountaineer, a hills fighter, and um, a better logistics wizard. I that's why I made Patton um, a field marshal because he's pretty good. Not gonna lie, he's pretty good. Nice. Lots of German subs. Just going down, down, down. C19 is still down here, but they're starving for supplies, which is good. How's Asia looking? Well, American imperialism, democracy, I mean, is doing very well. Very, very well. Go ahead and just come all the way down here. Make it nice and easy on us. Are you guys moving around the cabin? Yes, you are. Northeast Siberia. Ah, oh, what a great place to be, right? Siberia. Land of the cold. Add a couple more infrastructure places around here. As we are trying to kill the Germans off as fast as possible, to be honest. That's why I let them go and be... Just be doing their own thing. Actually, have we made any more destroyers here? Six? Eh, that's probably good enough. Oh, we may just made another light cruiser. Nice. Alright, so we'll get, turn in... The carrier. Four light cruisers. And those destroyers. Cool. Select... Add them there. Add them here. Yes, please. Actually, some of you guys. You know what? Combine. Merging to Asiatic Fleet 3. Very good. So that'll actually make this group very good. Uh, you guys go ahead and repair. Oh, you're on fire. So you better go repair. It's a little laggy, but that's okay. So, I mean, there's still 10 destroyers, 4 light cruisers, and a carrier. That's still pretty good. Oh. You guys are veterans? Holy crap. That's awesome. Nice. More subs are just going to continue dying off the coast of the United States. It's almost pointless for you guys to even attack me. I don't even really think I have that many trade routes coming from here. Field Hospital 3s, wow. We've already gone, done so much that we already have Field Hospital 3s, even though we started researching Field Hospital 2s in this episode. Could we attack Tarag Rangoon? I don't think so. Actually, I want to keep this division stuck here as we try to take out more of the enemy forces. Oh, they're actually still pretty darn strong, though. So go ahead, just kind of hang out. But we did take one piece of territory, so that's good. Could we just use this one division to take Rangoon and then have everyone else attack over here? Because they would starve for supplies. That's really what we want. Maybe. Oh, the new Mughal Empire has capitulated. Very nice. Very, very nice. Subs lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. Uh, let's see over here. Oh. The Germans still have a couple of territories down here. It's not good. The Mughal Empire has capitulated. Oh, uh, yeah. It's probably a dumb idea for me to do, but whatever. All right. So, since we saw the infantry so focused on them over here, here's what we're going to do. I want the tanks to be the frontline soldiers here. I will improve the infrastructure if I can. And I will do that too. Yeah, I definitely will do Balukistan because they definitely need that. And then anyone else who's an infantry soldier will finish 
this side of India. Or I guess the German Raj. That's how they like to call it. As we are pushing very hard. Oh my gosh, this is good. This is not too bad. Come on, guys. Right. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Awesome. These guys have been encircled. They are trying to kill us over here, but we will try to kill them back. We will probably lose this province. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. Come on. Yes. 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 And then these guys will starve for supplies, and that can reinforce our position over here in the Raj. Very good. Very, very good, guys. Proud of all y'all. And we could probably use some radar over here. Yeah, I'm building up a ton of stuff. Siberia's looking pretty darn good. We've made it all the way to around Iran. As we're discovering how terrible the infrastructure is in that part of the former Soviet Soviet Union, excuse me. Can we finally have another ship? Oh, you Oh, we can. Uh 1940s. Screw it, do it. Oh, nice. Super heavy battleship. 2A. Uh, we need the next level before I do anything else. I don't want to make it... Oh, we can't really make it any slower. Cool. Very cool. There we go. 1950 will be our next time for the ship. That'll be great. And I want to end this episode as we take this little peninsula now out of commission. Or under our control, or however you want to say it. Uh, let's see, another convoy lost. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah. If anything, actually, I'm going to build a naval base over here so we can still resupply this one division that's here without going to this naval sea zone. Because that's basically suicide. Oh, yeah, they definitely stacked a couple more soldiers here. Definitely. Actually, since you have five divisions over here, I know it's five, but just come over here. They need some help. You might as well give them some help. Good. Get moving, boys. Oh, man. They are actually coming back with more of a retribution. Tanks? Well, you know what? You might as well go ahead. They have a lot of divisions here, and they're not doing so hot. Panzer expert? Yes, you are, Walter Kruger. You, Walter Kruger, you will kill the enemy's Walter Kruger, because there is a German commander named Walter Kruger. Oh, man. We're doing so well against India now. Or against the German Raj. How is this going? It's going, I think, very, very well. Maurice Rose has once again been wounded. Pretty typical of Maurice. Happens, you know. And now... Yeah, it's probably a bad idea to attack with these guys. Let them come in. Let them get destroyed. We could probably start piercing the enemies better once they start running out of more and more tanks. Come on. Nice. Go ahead and come over here. Ooh, we are trying attacks like crazy, but they're not going so well. Awesome. Very awesome. Well, Germany, you're going to lose a lot of divisions here. I would not be surprised if I've not taken more than four and a half casualties by now. Ooh, very cool. Very cool. Go ahead and wrap these guys up. Wrap them like Christmas presents. Awesome. And that's one thick United States, and that's not even on the mainland United States. Ah, oh, so good, guys. So good. All right, with this peninsula done, now we can reinforce our soldiers over here in India and West Bengal. Very nice. Go ahead, guys, and stop killing yourselves for now. When we finally finished a 1944's carrier hull, even though we don't have that much carrier experience, or naval experience, to be honest with you guys. And, five divisions, can you put them out of their misery? Alright guys, either you're going to get blown up by a tank, or you're going to blow yourself up with your own gun. It's up to you. I would honestly probably blow myself up with a gun, but you know, that's your decision to make. Especially in the mountains and hills here. Six tank divisions, what are you going to do? You're going to help them out. You're going to help crush the enemy soldiers' bodies. Exactly. Uh, let's see. For those, a Spanish sub. Come on, I just want to finish up this little part. And we've done it! We've done it! Now we can retreat, not retreat, but, you know, refocus around here. And really push hard into Jemin Raj. 
and then continue fighting across Siberia. We've almost made it to Europe through going through Asia. So that's pretty interesting. Let's see. Actually, you could probably use a little bit more air. Eh, we could probably maybe wait a little bit on air power. Oh, 11. You can build up to 11 air base power strength. Very cool. So let's end it here, guys. What have we done? We've taken out Australia. Fully taken it out and have all the territory under me. Uh, we might invade some of these islands next time. Or probably just this Italian, German, East, West Indies area. Probably help out, help kill these 20, 20, there's 18 here, 19 here earlier. 20 Italian divisions next time. And what else have we done? We've helped pretty much crush any resistance in Burma. We are striking very hard into the German Raj. And we might even be in Europe before the end of the next episode. With that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Please like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.